Have you ever wondered what Disney villains looked like when they were younger? They're some of the funniest and most mysterious characters out there. But they're often also much older than anyone else. Well, not anymore. Wait until you see what Maleficent would look like as a teenager. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're discussing 10 Disney villains reimagined as teenagers. Cruella de Vil Cruella de Vil is one of the most iconic Disney characters ever. She is so popular that she was one of the few Disney villains that managed to appear in other cartoons. Her name is so popular, we often use it without even realizing it's related to 101 Dalmatians. Cruella is a nickname we usually give to someone who's not exactly a nice person. And it all started with this 1996 Disney movie. But while she might be one of the most famous Disney villains out there, she got the short end of the stick when it comes to her looks. We never find out how old Cruella is, but she could be the same age as Anita, as they were schoolmates. But what we do know is that she's definitely older than teenagers. So what would she look like if she suddenly became a teenager? This version of a young Cruella is illustrated by Kristen Reeves, who did a fantastic job at showing us what Cruella would look like as a teenager. Her hair looks just a bit more stylish, although she's still rocking that half black, half white do. But what's entirely different is her face. Doesn't this version of Cruella look much better? The character from 101 Dalmatians is played by Glenn Close, who also had a very interesting look when she was a teenager. But we bet Glenn was never as mean as the character she portrayed on 101 Dalmatians. Isma. If Cruella de Vil is Disney's most popular villain, Isma has to be one of the funniest. If you don't know who Isma is, you should find a way to watch The Emperor's New Groove right now. Isma is considered a villain because she got fired by her boss and now she wants revenge. It seems like that would be some pretty solid villain motive, right? Well, Isma is also one of the funniest villains you'll ever see, and she easily steals every moment on screen. Isma is very slim and elderly looking, although we're not quite sure how old she actually is. She has a pale lavender skin, wrinkled face, and very long black eyelashes. Although she's a villain, Isma is a hilarious character with many one-liners and scenes that made us giggle uncontrollably. Of course, every Disney villain has their dark side, and vengeance is hers. So what would she look like as a teenager? Do you think Isma was always mean-spirited, or did she once have a softer side? Jack Overland Frost 315 from DeviantArt brilliantly illustrated what Isma would look like as a teenager, although we can definitely see traces of old Isma in her teenage self. She does look kinder. Isma was played by Eartha Kitt, and her portrayal of this Disney villain can't be topped. Speaking of Isma, did you know that Patrick Warburton was never in a studio together with Eartha, despite them sharing so many scenes? Queen of Hearts Queen of Hearts is often mistaken for the Red Queen from Through the Looking Glass, but the two are not the same characters. The Queen of Hearts is one of the very few obese Disney villains, and she's on a mission to rule the Wonderland. She's not exactly the nicest character ever, and her features don't do her any favors. She has a very unique dress with many colors, black hair, and a gold crown on her head. This look was designed on a website called Azalea's Dolls, and it shows what Queen of Hearts would look like as a teenager. This version of the queen seems much kinder, and it looks like she replaced the crown with a tiara. She has long, dark hair, but her dress is still pretty much the same. She does have a kinder look than the original character, and it makes us wonder what made Queen of Hearts become so mean in the first place. Verna Felton voices the 1951 Queen of Hearts version, but her character was replaced by the Red Queen in the 2010 movie adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. This version is played by the one and only Helena Bonham Carter, who has a very interesting teenage look herself. Captain Hook Get ready, because you'll be totally blown away by Captain Hook's youthful look. But first, let us remind you of what Captain Hook actually looks like. There are two villains on our list that are afraid of getting old, and this pirate is one of them. Captain Hook is the main villain of everyone's favorite Peter Pan tale. 
He's also one of the most ruthless villains out there. Captain Hook is slender with fair skin. He has long black hair, a thin mustache, and a hook on his left hand. Peter Pan is the reason why he lost his hook, so naturally, he's not very fond of the boy. We never learn how old he is, but he definitely has an aged look. Have you ever wondered what he'd look like if he was a teenager? Well, so have we. And we found the answer. Kristen Reeves brilliantly reimagined Captain Hook as a teenager, and we're very fond of this look. Check it out. Do you see the resemblance? He no longer has the long dark hair or a mustache, but we still see some resemblance. In the 1991 movie Hook, Captain Hook is played by Dustin Hoffman, whose younger look does look similar to the reimagined version of the Peter Pan villain. Speaking of Peter Pan, did you know that the word bangerang is actually Jamaican slang? It means uproar, disturbance, or disorder. We can definitely see why the elderly Captain Hook disliked the Lost Boys. Ursula Along with Cruella de Vil, Ursula is also everyone's favorite Disney villain. Did you know that Ursula's not actually an octopus? Perhaps she's this angry at the world because she's only a squid with six tentacles. Animators had a very hard job creating Ursula with eight tentacles, so they decided to settle for six. Ursula is pretty obese. She has a lavender skin, a mole on her right cheek, and far too much makeup. She wants to rule the sea world. But have you ever wondered what she looked like when she was a teen? This illustration shows a very impressive representation of teenage Ursula. While the original villain has white hair, this Ursula has long black hair. And she doesn't even have tentacles. She's a mermaid, which in our opinion is a much better choice. Ursula was always supposed to have tentacles, but she'd definitely have an interesting backstory if her teenage self would actually be a mermaid. Did you know that Ursula's original look was actually inspired by a drag queen called Divine from the Pink Flamingos movie, which is definitely not made for children? Although Divine passed away, we bet she would love the fact she got portrayed as one of the most iconic Disney villains ever. Dr. Facilier Dr. Facilier is the main villain in The Princess and the Frog, along with his shadow sidekick. We've shown you Princess Tiana reimagined as a couple of things, including a minion, but we've never shown you any other characters from The Princess and the Frog. Dr. Facilier has a dream. He wants to become the most powerful man in New Orleans, and he'll do anything in his power to make that happen. His looks don't really do him any favors, although we have to admit he's probably the most fashionable villain out there. A Tumblr user, Maybe Chan, reimagined what Dr. Facilier would look like as a teen. This version of the villain is quite a fashionista. While he's still rocking the same clothes, it looks like they've been upgraded to something that could easily be seen on a runway. And is that high heels we see? His feminine look is absolutely wonderful, and this version would put a very interesting spin on the original The Princess and the Frog story. Do you think he'd still be as power hungry and mean? Would his shadow still have a different personality? We have so many questions, and we'd love to have the answers. Mother Gothel Speaking of favorite villains, although she kidnapped a girl and kept her in a tower for 18 years, Mother Gothel is quite an exceptional character. Along with Captain Hook, she's the other Disney villain with a fear of losing her youth. She's incredibly manipulative and narcissistic, but she can easily charm whoever she wants just to get her way. We never learned her real age, but centuries have passed since she found the magical flower. So it's safe to say Mother Gothel might be over 100 years old. Just like most Disney villains, she's slender and has pale skin. Her red lips are accompanied by the long, curly, dark hair, and she is quite a fashionista when it comes to her gowns. A Tumblr artist called Andals reimagined what she would look like as a teen. Although Mother Gothel's main wish was to stay young, we never really learned why she wanted to keep her youth, and we never saw her as a child. This version of Mother Gothel is amazing, and it certainly fits her look. Speaking of Mother Gothel, while it might look like she dies from her fall, she actually dies of old age. As she falls, she turns into dust, and all that's left is her cloak. We hope she learned her lesson that you can't escape getting old, no matter how hard you try. Jafar 
We've shown you plenty of reimagined versions of Princess Jasmine and even Aladdin, but we've never given you a different look of Jafar, one of the meanest characters in the movie. Jafar is defined as a wicked vizier, a part-time magician, and an amateur seer. His mission is to rule the universe, overthrow the Sultan, and take revenge on Aladdin. His looks most definitely fit his personality. He looks mighty tall and has a unique goatee, a turban, a large robe, and a staff shaped like a golden snake. Have you noticed that all Disney villains, apart from Ursula and the Queen of Hearts, look slim and they're all somewhat elderly? While Jafar never reveals his age, it's safe to assume he's way beyond his teenage years. A deviant art artist called Young86 took this opportunity and created a younger and much more stylish version of the Disney villain. Check him out! We're not sure how old he's supposed to look, but he looks like he might as well have his own Jafar fashion line. It's certainly an upgrade from the Jafar we know. The animators behind Aladdin said they created all characters based on simple shapes. For example, Aladdin is composed of two interlocking triangles formed by his chest and his pants. Jasmine is pear-shaped, and Jafar has a T-shape. They kept those shapes in mind throughout the entire movie, which is why Jafar looks so slender. Lady Tremaine Here is yet another slender Disney villain. Lady Tremaine is Cinderella's arch nemesis, and she gets the award for being one of the worst Disney stepmothers ever. Her mission is to make Cinderella's life as miserable as possible, all while climbing the social ladder to secure better wealth for her family. Lady Tremaine might not have such distinctive features as some of the other Disney villains. She's slim, with a pointy chin and a heart-shaped hairstyle. We're not sure how old she is, but this version of Lady Tremaine shows us what she would look like as a teenager. She still looks just as fabulous. You have to admit that Lady Tremaine does know how to look stunning in her gowns. The teenage version of the character has a dark red dress and long black hair. Her makeup and her dark look still show signs of the vengeful side of Lady Tremaine. Which one do you prefer? The old Lady Tremaine or this new younger version? Speaking of Cinderella, Lady Tremaine really missed out on not being nicer to her stepdaughter. Did you know that Cinderella was the very first Disney princess that married into a royal family instead of inheriting the throne? Losing glass slippers at a party really does pay off, doesn't it? Maleficent Last but not least, let's talk about Disney's most vengeful fairy ever. She's the strongest and most powerful of all creatures, but instead of using her powers for good, she wants to take out Princess Aurora. Maleficent was such a compelling character that her portrayal went beyond Sleeping Beauty. In 2014, Disney released Maleficent the Movie, starring Angelina Jolie as the main villain. We're not sure how old Maleficent is, but we can tell you that she's not a teenager. So why not reimagine what she'd look like in her teenage years? This might just be our favorite illustration from the ones we've shown you today. This is a young and a very modern version of Maleficent, and we can totally see her fitting into today's world despite still having horns on her head. She's totally rocking that selfie look, and we love how the artist kept Maleficent's signature purple and black colors. We bet she is the most popular kid in school. Did you know that Eleanor Audley, the actress who voiced Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty, also voiced the previously mentioned Lady Tremaine? She actually acted out her scenes in costume, which helped her get into character, but also inspired the final looks of the magnificent Maleficent. And that's it for 10 Disney villains reimagined as teenagers. We hope you liked it! For more Disney videos, check out 15 Disney princesses reimagined as anime characters. See you next time!